Hey guys, uh, my name is Jenny. I am a hairstylist as well as a clean beauty coach. I teach women how to recognize the toxins that are in their beauty products, giving them the confidence that they need to know that what they are putting on their body is healthy for them, their family, the environment, and not harmful to animals. So let's talk about a sunscreen. I know sometimes when you're looking down the aisle, it can be confusing to know which ones to choose. And I wanna talk about one that looks like it's probably a safe one. Sun bum. So when I first didn't know anything about toxins in our, you know, I knew there were certain ones that you wanted to avoid in sunscreens, but I didn't really know too much about it. I knew that you wanted to use zinc, but my impression of zinc was like the white nose covered. And I was like, I don't want to look like that. So, but there are so many other options out there, but I want to talk to you guys about why this one that you think may be a healthy non-toxic, because I mean, heck, Look at the back, it says paraben free, oiled, PABA free, hypoallergenic, vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, oxybenzone free, non comedogenic, retinal palmitate free. I mean, heck, it sounds great, right? Well, the active ingredients are avobenzone, which actually breaks down within like three minutes of being out in the sun. So it really doesn't give you a lot of protection. So if that were the only ingredient in here, it's safe on its own, the only thing is, like I said, it doesn't give you a lot of lot of protection. Next ingredient is homosalate. Homosalate is known to be an endocrine disruptor. It also can avoid or absorb short UVB rays, which are associated with DNA um, damage and can increase the risk of skin cancer. Uh, the next one is octisalate and octocrylene. Those ones are actually um, known to be harmful to the environment. Um, I think I did see a study where it said that they can have endocrine suppers as well, so that hormonal problems, but they are also harmful to the environment. And there are certain ones that say in a certain amount of dose or you know, a certain percentage in the bottle safe. But to me, if I'm putting this on and then I'm going into the Gulf, I don't want to have anything that's going to be harmful to the environment that I'm going to be putting into our water system. So those are the active ingredients I'm already right there. It's like red flag, do not use, but go down the list even more. And it has dimethicone, which is a silicone. Um, those can be harmful in the environment depending on how they're processed, but this one does not state how it's processed. Um, fragrance, which can actually cause skin irritations. It has um, EHT which actually BH, <clears throat> excuse me, BHT is, let me get this here for you guys, harmful for the environment as well. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones, but those are the ones that popped out right away. And you would look at the back here and it's recommended active from the Skin Cancer Foundation. Um, it's cruelty free stamped, which is great. And recycled, which is great, recycled packaging. All great stuff. The only thing is, it's really not a non-toxic sunscreen. There are better choices out there. I want you to avoid those four ingredients that I listed, uh, bobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene, um, because they are not good. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will be discussing some more non-toxic products with you later. Bye.